What's up, RJ family? The reason that we're doing this video is because we've been getting a lot of texts, a lot of comments saying what happened to Ace. So we're just gonna get right into it and do this story time, okay? I don't know who Ace is. Ace is my best friend, you know? He's like my little brother. He's like my son. He's like just... His ace boom coon. Just everything, man. Like, he my everything. And like, man, the most loyal entity I've ever like came across in my lifetime. Just my best friend, man. I, I can't even describe him because it ain't no, it ain't no title, you know, it ain't. It ain't really no words that can describe like what he meant to me, you know, and how he made me feel, you know what I mean? Like, if you got a pet, if you got like a, a cat, dog, reptile, whatever you got, like, it ain't no love like that one, you know, and you can't really replace that shit, you know? That's my guy, man, and to lose him in the physical realm, like, it's fucking with me, man. It's fucking with me for real. Trying to be strong, trying to be positive, you know, and trying to just keep my sanity, you know, and just know that God don't really make no mistakes, you know, and really don't want to hear that type of stuff, really don't want to hear that God don't make no mistakes or nothing like that, but I have to accept it, you know, I gotta be you know, strong, you know, and, you know, respect, you know, my, my, my lady and, you know, J2 is on its way too, you know, so it's just, just coping with a lot because it, it, it kind of like hit at the wrong time. Just been crying, bro, just been crying so much, you know, and, and crying don't even express the way that I feel. It's just the expression that I'm a human, you know, and I'm just releasing you know, energy, and I'm cleansing, you know, but it's just, I understand the grieving process and, and stuff like that, but man, it's just, it's a tough cookie, man, it's, it's tough, man, it's tough, and Ace Boogie Grant, man, that's my guy, man, Boogie is his nickname, if you don't know, Boogie, 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 that's, that's all I ever call him. I, I rarely call him Ace unless I'm mad at him. Just like a, a parent, you know, they call you by your government, they call you by your first name. But man, Boogie was was the nickname that I decided to name him, you know, and Ace I decided to name him too because before I even got a, a, a dog, uh, I said I was gonna name my next dog Ace. I was gonna name him Ace and I did. And his name, you know, he, he lived up to his name, you know what I mean? That's my number one guy, Ace, Ace Cito, man, Ace, man. That's that's my dude, man, and I love him so much, man. I love him so much, and I, I, I really want us to dedicate this video to him because I know if he could be in human form, I don't know if that's too spiritual or too deep for y'all, but if he could, I know he would do the same for either of us. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, man, it's just, it's just, man, it's it's just, I can't even fathom like the words, bro, because I've been crying every day, every single day. And like, it's just, it's just a process, you know, it's a process. And, and I appreciate, you know, my loved ones too for, you know, having my back and being by my side, bro. My brother, my mom, my brothers, my mom. Like, I just appreciate the people that's been checking on me and the people that's, you know, that's grieving with me pretty much, you know. And it's not easy because, like, Ace, like, you know, he... You just had to know him. Man, you just had to you know him. To... And me and a few of our, our videos, too, man, and I, I'm so grateful for that, you know. I'm... I'm grateful that that like he got some film time because I can always go back to, to view those videos and see like the good times that we had, the good memories and stuff. And 
I cherished him so much, you know, it never was a, was a, you know, it's the typical stuff. Yeah, I yell at him and stuff like that, but I never held a grudge against that, that little guy, man. <laughs> he was seven years old, man, and I got him when he was a puppy. I'll show y'all, you know, a few little uh, pictures of him when he was a puppy. Or well, actually, we probably going to insert some pictures in there, too. But, you know, this this was my guy, man. <laughs> this was my guy, man. Still is my guy. I just don't feel right, you know, without him. Like, like, and then moving into our new home and, like, having to, like, be here without him so quiet. It's normally, you know, he... Uh, uh. It's normally it's like all three of us and it just feels so it feels so like empty like it never been just me and Jerron ever like it never been just like us two like even when it was just us two with quality time like he will always be there close so it's like for him to not physically be here it's just it don't feel right and it just like feel like something is missing like we have a missing piece and it's like it's hard you know and it's it's hard and it's definitely gonna take some getting used to you know but that's why we got each other i've been trying to be there as much as possible for him and just trying to keep him smiling and keep his just his mind off of everything right now because it's just been a lot going on like he said like we literally just moved not even what 72 hours ago literally just moved and then like what ace passing it's just we haven't even had time to really just sit down and think like literally but ace will be missed he he definitely will be missed he was a little trio <laughs> a trio So honestly, I don't even know what he really had, you know, when we go back to get his remains, you know, because we're going to get an urn, mm -hmm. and we're going to get his picture, his picture in it and get his ashes and stuff like that. So that's when I'm going to, you know, ask for clarification to exactly what he had. Mm -hmm. um, to our state of knowledge, it was, you know, some type of cancer, mm -hmm. you know, that like, if you know about cancer, you know it can hit you, you know, quick, quicker than an earthquake. So, mm -hmm. like, he had some type of cancer, and um, it's just man, that shit keep replaying in my head, like just like towards the end of things, like, like, like witnessing that stuff because I never saw him like that, man. The strongest dog I've ever met, ever had, everything in that nature, and like I just. I knew he was being so strong and I knew he didn't want to depart from me in a physical realm. And it's just, it's just, man, it's just, it's so much to try to like intake, you know, and me trying to just, you know, just accept what had happened. It's just like, how can I accept that? How do you go from being with somebody every single day to, to like, them not physically being with you no more and it just don't sit right with me right now you know maybe yeah it's gonna take some time and I understand that like a hundred percent but it just man it's just difficult it's tough for me and like my family and it's just man towards the end like when me and Jay was it was so crazy because everything just started shifting so quickly and jay was trying we was literally doing so much research taking him to the vet just doing so many things to like try to stop whatever it was like it was like oh my god it was so crazy and we thought things was turning around but it took a it took a turn and like everything was just rapidly like decreasing 
and that's when we knew like something it was something more severe like at first we thought it was just honestly we thought it was like a little parasite we thought it was something that was something that could be just solved by a little supplement or something like that or a change of diet but it was something more severe towards the end of like how he was like behaving and his weight the beginning when he first got sick um we were actually planning to go tell you know our parents about like our pregnancy mm -hmm. and like around that time and like i put it out there like around that time like me and ro you know we were we were in confidential uh terms of, of you know releasing our our information about our pregnancy because we wanted to do it with God's divine time and around that time when we decided to like book our tickets and head out to go tell our parents like he got sick mm -hmm. and to me that's not really like coincidental you get what I'm saying that's that's more on a spiritual tip to me because it's like like about the time we released like our good energy and our good uh our good blessing that that god gave to us and it comes that time we come to release it uh he get sick you know and and that got me going down a rabbit hole you know i got my notes and stuff like that and i'm just you know i want to get to the bottom of it you know it may drive me crazy it may not i may get to the bottom of it mm -hmm. but like, I just feel like the moment, like, we shared, like, our information, you know, it just, it kind of, like, went downhill. Like, the moment we were in the talks of finalizing to, like, go, Literally. it just, it just, like, was, like, 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 it just. Everything changed. Yeah, and I'm, like, like, of course I ain't thinking, thinking about that, like, at that particular moment. It may have crossed my mind, but I didn't, like, dive into it but it, it it was a thought it was a thought like damn shouldn't have told you know like you know regrets creep in it's like oh i sh should just kept my mouth closed because when you include outsiders man they can disrupt energies they can they can do certain stuff you know but not not blaming nothing but it's just you know mm -hmm. thinking outside the box you know um just how it had like the time yeah frame. the time the timing of it all it just it it, it makes sense you know people feel like it don't make sense it makes sense it's like oh and when you get to connecting the dots and stuff but i just feel like around that time like even well before like his weight i'll i'll give like a rough a rough estimate i'll say in the 70s mm -hmm. like like about 70 70 71 mm -hmm. and the the first time that i had weighed him on the scale and then um when his weight started to decrease is when uh, he wasn't eating and stuff. That's like when we went to Toledo mm -hmm. and we went to um, tell our parents about the, you know, the good news and stuff like that. And uh, we came back, you know, he didn't use the rest. He didn't use the bathroom like he normally would. Mm -hmm. He didn't eat his food. He didn't, I don't even know if he drank water. I didn't mm -hmm. see it on the camera. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think he even drank water. Um, he just wasn't really doing much, mm -hmm. you know, like, and most of the time he stayed out of the camera view. So like he was in our bedroom and it just had me worried. I was just concerned. Like, Roy, tell you, like, I was concerned and I'm mm -hmm. like, man, where is he at? Like, I just want to see him. Right. Is he outside? Is he, where, where is he at? When we came back, um, did he eat? Did he eat something? Or he didn't eat he at all. Was, I took him. I know I took him outside, and we were in the field, and I he, told him. He you. like we will try to like like if you know Boogie, you know Boogie gonna mess up some food. Like yeah. he gonna he gonna mess up some food, and like me and Jerome trying to like give him treats and like you ready to eat or you know just little things like that, and he'll just like come up to us, smell it, and like walk away. And then me and Jay was like, this ain't something don't seem right. So we just giving it a few days, you know, whatever. He probably looked tired of food, whatever. And then it just was going on like oh like a, what four or five days and yeah, he's still and, not eating and, and, and we that's, just like that's when we decided you know to take him to the vet and he ended up uh, vomiting too mm -hmm. and we ended up taking him to the vet and um that's when he was 44 pounds mm -hmm. he dropped down to 44 pounds and they put him on a scale and stuff like that and then we got uh, some blood work done 
Blower was, came uh, back. A scan. A scan. Um, and he got fluids. Mm -hmm. And after we left the vet that day, you know, his all his organs was good. The, yeah. the vet said all the organs was good. Couldn't really discover nothing that was, you know, wrong with him mm -hmm. uh, internally or externally. And it was, she gave us like a, a insight. It was like it could possibly be cancer or like diabetes. But yeah, but she she knocked out diabetes. Yeah. She knocked out uh, diabetes was, and she knocked out. Um, it was something else. Uh, she knocked out. Oh, diabetes. kidney! It Kid, was a kidney, kidney disease. Kidney liver. Or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, kidney liver. And she she knocked that out. She was like, it's it's not none of those. And then like she kept the box open for cancer. You right. know, like she she told us indirectly. Right, right. And um. When she shared that with us, you know, it had us wondering, it had us guessing like, oh man, could it be or could it not be? You know, we, we really never dealt with, you know, with uh, that type of situation. So it's like, okay, well, let's have faith. We praying, you know, uh, trying to just, you know, have, have faith, you mm -hmm. know? And what's crazy, as soon as we left the bed, we had some, uh, some boiled chicken and, you know, and some Tupperware <laughs> and he wasn't eating before we went to the vet. Right. When he got those fluids and all that stuff. <laughs> he he started good. Man, he started eating. And, like, that made me so happy. I might even insert that clip <laughs> on here, too, because I got a video. Good job. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Big boy. He eating. Boogie. He just left the vet. Is it good? You guys see him swallowing? He's swallowing. Good job. <laughs> That's it. Oh, uh, some more, more, more. Last one. Last one. Ooh, good boy, Boogie. I was so happy because I'm like, let's go. And, and, like, and it me was... and Jay even like after he, because he ate all the chicken. And then um, me and Jerron, we came to the conclusion that we were just going to feed him nothing but chicken and salmon. And salmon, And yeah. salmon. So we got like two packets of salmon and we made it and put it in his bowl with some veggies and everything. And he start eating on his own. So we like, okay, you know, his weight he start, gonna start he start, mess, he start messing it up. Messing like, it like, up. Like, I think baby was feeding him like twice a day. And I was, like little yeah, but, portions. But, but, but small portions. Small, but, small portions. But when I gave him that one big meal, and I put kale, spinach, uh, cilantro, cilantro, parsley, parsley and uh, okay. salmon. No, I ain't put oh. none of those in there. But I put those five things in there. And, uh, and I even sprinkled some turmeric on it. If you know that's anti-cancer. Um, turmeric and I put some uh, spirulina in it as well and I sprinkled it on the top mm -hmm. and he messed it up <laughs> he, he, he chowed down you know and he, he devoured that food and like I was just so happy I was like relieved because that's where like majority of my stress was coming from because mm -hmm. him not being well it like didn't sit well with my spirit so yeah. it's like what can I do to resolve this issue I felt like I cracked the code you know it and, good. yeah but it what but it wasn't so that was that was slight yeah. he kept it down I, I I think I documented it for four days he he was doing good and Pretty then and everything. yeah he was eating he was eating and stuff and then he was eating the salmon he was eating the same I was sticking to the same regimen mm -hmm. because I didn't want to switch it up because I'm like this is what works exactly and working and then like on that like fourth day or something like that he ended up throwing up again and this day it comes like it's like the 25th 26th mm -hmm. and because on the 20th is when we took him to the vet so count those four days so to like the 25th that's when he vomited vomited again vomited again and it wasn't none of the food and we were it just like we was food. looking at it like that's not he not throwing up so, the food but he did he threw up like i could see like the spinach i could see like the dark yeah beans. like the yeah, yeah the vegetables i, I could see was, that yeah but like i didn't see like no salmon or nothing like that or no chicken yeah i didn't see anything like that so i was like um you know what like like dang should we take him to the bed again mm -hmm. and you know we like you know we discussing as parents would and it's like, uh, let's try this. Well, let's try this too. Because as y'all know, man, the vet is so expensive. And I just feel like, like, they know what they doing, man. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's like highway robbery. Bro. They like, charge you $800 man, bro, just, just to... Just like the regular hospital. Like, that's why I really genuinely don't believe in that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I would rather try my own herbs. Your own remedies. And, yeah, I would try my own remedies and do my research, which I already got books of research of, of stuff that I've already discovered. I'd rather do that. Then, then go trust a doctor that I'd rather give you pharmaceutical pills <laughs> to kill you even more. You know what I'm saying? Just like chemo with, with cancer, it kills you even more. That's just my opinion. Right. But I don't really believe in that stuff. Mm -hmm. To each his own, though. 